Hello, my awesome artists. This week we are, I bet you know, going to finish what we started last week. So last week and the week before, we were inspired by an artist named Faith Ringel. And she is a black artist who uses textiles, so cloth material, to make stories and quilts with her pieces. We read a book named Tar Beach. I'm going to put that link in the description of this assignment so you could watch it again if you want. Um, but that book is inspiring us and the scenes that we picked on our uh, piece. She created lots of extraordinary places that her character went, so flying over the city, but also very ordinary things like eating dinner or eating ice cream for dinner. Our piece is all up to you and your creativity. I did not want you to copy what I did. I wanted you to make up something of your own. So this week, we colored it in. We are finishing it. So here is my finished piece. The first week, we made our quilt border, inspired by her and her freedom quilts that she was inspired by. And the inside is either an extraordinary scene or an ordinary scene. So my piece, I did an ordinary scene. It's me and my husband eating pizza in our dining room. And there's my dog, Neil. So your piece should not be me and my husband eating pizza in your dining room. It should be you and your family, right? So um, you probably know the drill. We're just going to color this in as best and as neat as you can. So let's get right into it. Okay, remember, this is what I am doing. That does not mean it's what you are doing. I have some students who are doing exactly what I'm doing, and then I have other students who are not trying as hard as they should, because remember, you are an older kid. So I am using colored pencil, I use watercolors, and I use markers, and I am doing my best to fill in all of the white spaces. This is super sped up because, remember, you're not supposed to be copying me. Here's a trick that I am doing. I am going back in on top of those pencil lines and drawing black pen. This uh, is a good trick to bring back your definition of those pencil lines you might have lost when you drew or painted over them. Way to go. I can't wait to see your projects that you spent three weeks working on so I know they're going to be good. So make sure you take a photo of it and submit it into our Google Classroom. I can't wait to see it. I hope you had fun. Bye!